What is up guys, Tim from Timothy Drew Films here, back with another Blender Game Engine tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to take screenshots in the Blender Game Engine. We will be using a little bit of Python, but let's get straight into it. What I'm going to do is go into my desktop and make a folder. So go new, folder, and I'm going to call it Game Files, like that. Now this folder can be anywhere, as long as it's somewhere that's not restricted like App Data or System32. So my desktop is a good example, so we'll just drag that up here and we'll go into it. Now inside we're going to maximize this and then we will create a new folder and I'll call this screenshots like that. So the next thing you want to do is I'm going to minimize this and I'm going to go to Blender and the first thing we're going to do in Blender is we're going to save this Blender file. So file, save as, we're going to go to our desktop and we're going to save it inside this game files folder. So go inside there and we're going to save this as, I don't know, SC for screenshots. Then we can save this and we can begin inside Blender. So what we're going to do is you're going to switch from Blender Render to Blender Game. Then we can drag this up like this and switch it to Logic Editor. Now we see the first thing you need for a screenshot is something to take one of. So I'm just going to duplicate some cubes around like this and I will give them a different color, let's say blue or green. Then what we're going to do is go Control Alt and Numpad 0 to set the camera. And now what we can do is we're going to add an empty which is going to run our screenshot script. So right over there. So what we're going to do under the empty is we're going to add a Python controller and we're going to add a keyboard sensor. Now this is going to be the key that takes a screenshot whenever you press it. So in this case I'll make it F4 and we can call this capture like that. Then we can connect these two and we can minimize this. Then what we're going to do is drag this out a little bit. We can drag this down and we can change it to text editor. And we're going to create a new script and I'll name it screenshots.py. Then what we can do is load that script up right here and we can start coding in here. So what we're going to do is import BGE, then enter enter and CONT is equal to BGE.logic.get current controller. Like that, with two parentheses on the end. Then enter again and own is equal to CONT.owner. And then what we're going to do is go down twice and we're going to define our button right here, which is capture. So capture is equal to cont.sensors capture just like that then what we're going to do is say if capture.positive colon enter bge.render.make screenshot with two parentheses on the end of it like that and inside here what we're going to do is have two quotation marks two forward slashes inside those quotation marks and then we're going to have the name of the file so plus quotation marks and then we're going to call this screenshot for example just like that so now what we can do is we're going to drag this to the side like this and I'm going to grab this folder and drag it to the side like this and now if we run the game so hit P and we hit F4 you'll see a screenshot appear inside our folder there now if I hit F4 again you'll see another screenshot doesn't appear because we're using the same name for every screenshot it just overwrites the previous one every time we take one so what we need to do is write some code so that every time we take a different screenshot, it's going to give it a different name. And we're also going to, instead of saving it to the main folder, we're going to save it inside the subfolder screenshots. So what we're going to do is we can just maximize Blender here, and we can delete that name screenshots there, and instead replace this with the subfolder name. So screenshots, and two backslashes, and then we're going to go outside those quotation marks, add another plus, and then we're going to specify the name. But we're not going to do it inside these quotation marks. We're going to add a set of parentheses. And inside here, we're going to add two quotation marks and type in screenshot space. And outside those, we're going to add a plus and then str with two parentheses. And inside there, own number, just like that. So we're going to add a game property right here and we're going to rename it to number, just like that. And we can also change it from float to an integer. So now what we're going to do is we are going to go under capture over here and type in own number must be equal to own number plus one. So every time we take a screenshot, it's going to add one to this integer right here. And then we want to apply this to the name, which we're doing right over here. So now what we can do is if we minimize this again, put it to the side and we hit play, You'll see it saves it in the subfolder when we hit screenshot there. <clears throat> and every time we create a new one, it creates a different screenshot. Screenshot 3, 4, etc. And it'll keep going forever. But then we encounter a second problem. And that problem is that if we exit the game and we hit play again, 
and we press F4, a different screenshot doesn't appear. It just overwrites the first one and the second one, and it'll just start from the beginning of the list and overwrite every one until it starts creating new ones. And that's a problem. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into the directory, we're going to go up one to the main game files folder, and we're going to create a new text document right there. And we can call this number, like that. Then what we're going to do is go into it, and we're going to assign it an integer, so zero. Then what you want to do is save it and close it. Then we can maximize Blender, and under import BGE, we're going to hit enter and type in path is equal to bge.logic.expandPath with two parentheses and two quotation marks and two forward slashes, just like that. So now what we're actually going to be doing is doing three things. We're going to be reading, then we're going to be adding, and then we're going to be writing, like that. And then of course we take the screenshot. And we've already got the adding down over here, but we're going to want to put it between these two pieces of code. So select it and hit Control X, then go under adding and hit Control V. So now we have it right here. So what we're going to do under reading is hit enter and type in file is going to be equal to, and then open, parentheses, path, plus, and then the file name, which is number.txt. And then since we're reading the file, it's R. Then what we're going to do is type in text is equal to file dot read with two parentheses on the end. Then we're going to get the value. So value is equal to an integer of text. Since text is a string file and we want to use it in this property, we have to convert it to an integer first. Then we can assign it to this property. So own number, number is going to be equal to value like that. So what we're doing here is we are opening the file, we're getting the text file, reading it, and then converting it to a value which we then assign to this property right over here. Then we're adding one to it and now what we want to do is save that number. So what we're going to do again is file is equal to open parentheses path plus and then the file name which is number.txt and since we're writing this time, we're going to put in W instead of R. Then we're going to go file dot write parentheses. And inside here, we're going to type in string of own number. So now I'm going to drag Blender to the side like this. And we can go into screenshots and we can hit play and we can hit F4 and it's going to overwrite each screenshot. Now see when we get to 5, it's going to add a new screenshot, and it's going to keep on doing that. But now what changes is that if we hit escape, and we hit play again, and we press F4, it's going to add another screenshot and continue from where it was instead of just overwriting. So we could even close Blender. Make sure you save first. So save, then close Blender, then we can go back here and open the file once more. Drag it to the side, and go into screenshots, and you see we're on 12. And then we hit play again, hit F4, and it continues adding like that. So it doesn't matter whether you close the game, whether you exit the game. The only thing that can change though is if somebody goes and edits this number. So if they change that value to a different value, it can cause a lot of errors because it can overwrite every screenshot they've taken, and I'm sure that's not something people want. So the last thing that we can do is we can go into the number, and we can go File, Save As, and then we can change this from text to all files and rename it to number.dat and then save that instead. So now we have two files here. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back into our script over here and change the .txt on text over here to .dat and the same for text down here, dat. And then we hit control S and save it. And now we can remove the text file so we can delete number and now we just have a dat file and if somebody tries to open that they won't be able to unless they know to convert it back to a text file which is very unlikely and you'll see that this will still work so you hit play and f4 it'll add screenshot 16 17 and so forth so thanks so much for watching guys if you found this tutorial useful then leave a like to let me know you liked it and if you want to see more of this then definitely subscribe to the channel i release tutorials every week and hopefully they'll just keep getting more and more useful 
because I'm just a nice guy like that. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next tutorial.